Terus ya. Ah, iya. Sa. You haven't got enough for me yet, eh? So you got my email. Hmm. Just as well I haven't got enough for you either. You never replied. Hey, I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> I'll be there in a sec. So, are you hooking up? Well, isn't that what you're here for? Mm, yeah, with you. Oh, poor Petal. You didn't think we were exclusive, did you? No, no, no. Of course not. So, um, <clears throat> what are you doing right now? You're busy. There's always room for one more. George, you be into it. Um, I'll pass, thanks. Another time, eh? It's a charitable trust. Can't live without books. Exactly. So we're committed in making sure that all children, wherever they are, whatever the socio-economic background, have access to a wide range of uh, literature. I'm sorry, could you excuse me just for one moment? Are you okay? No, those kids are evil. Really? Yeah, well, except for Harry. The rest of them, it's like they're on pee or something. You've only had them for like 20 minutes. Yeah, of how? Look, they won't even keep their hats on. Yeah, they won't be for much longer. <laughs> Get their mothers to try and round them up. I can't. Please. Exactly. We'll get out of your hair, Chris. Oh, no, it's fine. The kids tend to be a bit boisterous in your surroundings, don't they? Sorry. Really, Scarlett has it all under control. Don't know how she does it. I'd be halfway down a gin bottle by now. Now, there's a thought. Would you like a G&T? Love we'll one. Yes, please. Cheers. I'll slice the lemon. Children are the new dogs. Uh, Fiona's never had so many offers since she took medicine to the pack. Really? It's a meat market. A magnet for solo dads. I'm married. Don't say you've never been cruised with Harry. There's this one time. Spill. Well, there's this woman there with a little kid, right? And so I go, oh, what a little cutie. And she says, me or the kid? <laughs> Oh, hi, honey. Oh, hi. The woman behind the man. Everyone, this is my wife, Tony. Uh, Tony, this is Paige. Hi. And uh, Fiona and Marty. Hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> hey, something tells me the uh, fleet of dialer drivers outside might be something to do with you guys. They're here. Kids, come on. We're going. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chris. We must do it again sometime. Love to. They might want to do this again, but I'm not, okay? Sure. Unless I have a taser. Thanks, Chris. I'll call you about the petrol ash. Do, do. I'll see you all later. Bye. 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 <laughs> Go to the coffee group, eh? Started out as herbal teas and no carbs and degenerated into a boozed up cake fest. Mm -hmm. Yum. What was that about the petrol and stuff? Somehow I think I agreed to uh, join in on their charity. Mm. Go to the gin. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the best I can do is mid-January. Look, I really need to see him. Look, I understand. But I'm sorry about before. I know that I have missed you around, but surely you can organise something sooner? Like I said, January is the earliest. Forget it. Um, what are you doing here? Uh, where do I begin? I hate my mother. I want to kill my sister. I bite my nails. I'm sorry, but I needed to know where you were. I told you. I didn't believe you, though. I didn't know what to believe, so... I followed you. What? I hate 
hate that I've done it. I hate that I've turned into some suspicious stalker freak. But I didn't want to lie about it, and I didn't want to go home and pretend like nothing happened, so here I am, coming clean. You followed me here? I saw you walk in. I think we should talk about this at home. I expected you to be here for at least an hour. You're out in five minutes. Yeah, um, I got the time wrong. I was supposed to be here an hour ago. But he's almost finished for the day, so... Why don't I believe you? You tell me. I can't live like this, Mark. It can't go on like this. So what do you say? It's driving me nuts. Do you want out? I want to try and sort it. Okay. So I want to see your counsellor too. What? To help me understand. Tanya, you really don't need to do that. I love you and I want to do it. Have you made another appointment yet? No. Well, good. Come on. We can make another time and it would probably be good if I can meet with him too. You can introduce me and you can tell him that we are going to do this thing together. And we've more from Shortland Street Hospital at 12 noon Monday here on One. And a reminder that later tonight at 9.30, Pierce Brosnan stars as a father who fights a custody battle for his children. Evelyn is your Friday night movie here on One at 9.30.